During his travels through America, Abdul Baha once accepted to teach a very devoted Baha'i how to pray. He asked the believer to return to his residence the next day at daybreak and he would show him how to pray. The believer's heart was filled with joy and gladness. The next day he arose at dawn and rushed to the residence of Abdul Baha. When he arrived, he found Abdul Baha was already deep in prayer and he knew he couldn't interrupt him to ask any questions. So the believer decided to kneel and go ahead and pray along with him. He prayed for his relatives, for his friends, and for himself. When he finished, he looked up and saw that Abdul Baha was still deep in prayer. So he decided to say all of the prayers silently that he knew in his heart and mind over and over again. He looked and Abdul Baha was still deep in prayer. Just then the believer noticed that his knee was starting to ache and his back was feeling kind of funny. Just then he noticed that there were birds singing outside. He looked around the room and saw a big crack in the wall opposite him. And then he looked at Abdul Baha's face and the expression on his face as he was praying showed him what it really meant to pray. And it stirred in the believer's heart a desire to really be able to pray like that. He wanted to commune with God just like Abdul Baha. So he began to pray like he had never prayed before. Abdul Baha had showed him how through his example. And just then, Abdul Baha arose and smiled and said, when you wish to pray, you must not think about the aches in your body or about the birds outside or about the cracks in the wall. You must, in your heart, desire to pray and first know that when you pray, you are standing in the presence of the Almighty.